to start, I want to kind of set a bit of a frame and uh, to trigger some people. Um, in order to set the frame, I'm going to, I, I want to kind of talk in the realm of, of media or, or content in the form of things like the films that we've talked about, DC comic, Marvel. Let's just take that as our starting point. But I want to set a, a frame for that. And, and in order to do that, I'm going to kind of poke a little bit on Jonathan Pajot and his uh, parasitic storytelling <clears throat> video. And what I'm going to what I'm going to kind of claim here is that he's a Marxist, that, 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 that Peugeot is, is a Marxist. And I'm tongue in cheek here a little bit, yep. but I'll yeah, try keep to keep going, keep going. <laughs> this is to, great. Uh, I love it. I'll try to explain what I mean here. And then that'll set the kind of context I'm trying to get at. Because in that video, he describes the um, this flipped over, this inverted uh, thing that's happening in these films. He describes it as propaganda. And, and what that means is that we'll view the media landscape, let's say the, the, the product um, of, the, of the media, as the way, how is that functioning? Well, it's functioning as a, a projection of uh, an agency in the background, uh, an agency that has an agenda. And that agency is putting together this reframing of these stories and and presenting it to us. And the image there is that that uh, media product is having, is, has a power and it has a power on us as in a sense, passive spectators or consumers of that product. And the, and the, and the, the structure there then is one in which the direction of influence, the direction of power is, is from the media to us, changing us, influencing us, uh, 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 you know, uh, um, producing or, or effectuating the agenda of the agent. Now, we who, who the agent is. I mean, I would, I would, we could say whatever. It's a embodiment of an ideology. To use the Christian term that you like to use, it's a principality in power. It's a, it's a community. It's a, it's an element of our culture that has a zeitgeist. What, however, you want to say that, but. The agent then has the production and the production comes to us as consumers. And then of course, Jonathan then turns around and says, you know, well, the image there is a Marxist one because, because the agent has the means of production. The, the agent is in control of the means of production of the content and uses that to influence or, or, or dominate or create hegemony or, or oppress or change our minds, you know, influence the way we think about the world. And of course, uh, Jonathan even takes on a revolutionary posture at the end of the video by saying, we should acquire, we need to acquire the means of production. What he, in, in other words, he says, we need to make better stories. In other words, we need to infiltrate the Citadel <laughs> Take a hold of the means of production and create our own stories. So this is this is a little bit tongue in cheek, but really he is. That's what he is saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Now, I think that's fine because I actually agree with Jonathan's analysis of what's going on. But that's the way that's structured. So I right. want to say something that I think is probably going to seem obvious, and that is you can flip this story over. And in fact, we do flip the story over a lot of the time. And that is, we say we think that the products of media are really not that, but rather the manifestations of how we see the world. They're the outgrowth, the, 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 um, the, the reflection of our zeitgeist. And uh, that's, the, that's the way I want to look at things. Now, I don't think things are either of those ways, really. I mean, it's going to end up being more complicated and we're going to have a you know, yep. we're going to have a yep. long discussion about how this stuff influences and feedback loops and whatever. Absolutely. Um, yep. But uh, but when we look back in history, I think most of the time, this is probably not really true, but I'll say it anyway. Most of the time, we're thinking that second way. We're thinking about some era in the past. We're seeing the products of that era, and we're saying, this tells us how these people thought. This tells us what they thought about the world. And, and that's that second way, not, not, not the first way. 